Big Brothers. Big Brothers. Big Brothers. Big Brothers. Big Brothers. Record breaker, and he's not a chef, and you know what? He's not even a Stalin, and come to think of it, he's only half Italian, babe. George, don't be silly. I'm talking about Aldo Zilli. Hey, Aldo's here. He's here to prove that the housemates could have made a meal out of liver and custard. Said, yes, plus psychologist Judy James will be here to help us get the grip. Is he shifting power dynamics between Pocket Rocket Keely and the Baron? Oh, the Baron. <laughs> Huh? Aldo's still got it. Hey. Hey. Uh, which is why we want your thoughts on today's burning issue. Is Keely uh, going to overthrow the Baron? What do we think, guys? Is she? Is she? Oh. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, and we've got our puppet pal Zig and Zag joining us in the workshop with BB10's Prince of Posh, Freddie Fisher, everybody. This show is looking hotter than a Bombay mix omelette with a little side of John James. Uh, here's a quick recap of all the action. <laughs> Corin. Like, I, I at times have to walk out of the room when she's singing, like, at the top of her voice like that. Iffy. If, if, iffy. Simmering underneath that beautiful exterior is an interior that could get very malicious at times. Kiva. 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 I actually dislike her. <laughs> the pocket rocket Baroness Keely came out of a spaceship and decided to take control of the Big Brother house. I can't have some little... Pocket Rocket come in here to try and take over. You've just got that thing about you that makes me go funny. Take three new housemates, give them five ingredients each, then watch as there's gagging <laughs> and complaining. I wouldn't feed that to my dog. Worst food I've ever had in my life. Should we all give him a ten? One of the best nights of my life. Andrew got the sympathy vote. I am fuming. Joining us now is a man who not only knows his onions, but who also holds the world record for tossing a pancake 117 times in a minute! In a minute! Are you serious? Of course he's serious! Simba Dad, it's celebrity chef Aldo Zilli, everybody! Hello, Aldo. How are you, mate? You all right? Fantastic. Uh, last Fantastic. night, what a catastrophe in the kitchen, eh? Well, I, they could have done better. Would you, give, would you give any of the new housemates a, a job in one of your restaurants? I don't think so, no. They um, were diabolical, weren't they? They were... I, you know, I can, I can understand that the young boy... Yeah, you Andrew. Know, because, yeah, we, we're going to talk about Andrew first, actually. We're going to make his recipe or, or talk about what he could have done better, right? Because he, he just tried to throw it all in one, and that really... Well, for the starters, he should, he should have separated the ingredients. OK. You know, we, we've got the chicken livers. I okay. mean, you don't want to put what, chicken livers with... Uh, you don't want to put them with custard? With, with, no. 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 Or no, no. with uh, or with cream. No, or with cream. No, no they don't work really, with cream no, either. No. And what are you so, frying those off in there, Aldo? And now I'm frying them off there with a little bit of salt and pepper. Very nice. And some olive oil. Sounds simple, Aldo. And, and that's basically what's going to happen to those sugar liver. And then we're going to cut this amazing fruit. I don't know why they chose this fruit, but right, because because probably the housemates wouldn't know what to do with it. This hopefully, is, this is from uh, Thailand. This fruit. It's a, oh, it's, okay. uh, it's an Asian. Fruit and it's quite expensive. Yeah. So dragon fruit, uh, they call it, guys. Yeah. So I wouldn't yeah. have. Um, sorry, I didn't mention the, the, dragon, right. the dragon. It's all good. And what? Yeah. And the dragon fruit's going to go in there. And now I'm going to put gonna it go in there. there. Great. Okay. And what we're going to, what you can use as, as well if you don't have dragon fruit, which yeah. you, a lot of households probably won't. Don't grapes. you feel like Saturday morning kitchen, guys? Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a, with sort of a, a, an evening uh, worst ingredients yeah. kitchen. Yeah. And, and what about what about obviously Nathan's gone now. Steve seems to have stepped up to the mantle in the kitchen. Do you think that's going to be the end of him? I think Steve. No, I think you know what's going to happen. Steve is going to take over. Really? The whole thing because it, through his he's going to be a control freak now. Right. Okay. Through his yeah. wizardry in the kitchen, you think this might be the making of him because he's been quite quiet and we we kind of hoped for a little bit more from Steve. Really. Well, you know, I was in the army. Yeah. And when you get that job. Yeah. Doesn't like be, to talk about it, by the way, guys. I've yeah. been. <laughs> Uh, uh, during, things, during the yeah. war, yeah. Uh, what I did was, um, I, you know, they, they obviously discovered I was a chef, so they, they got me to cook, and I became the most popular person. Really? Okay, so you think this, this is going to be... Uh, yeah, as soon as you, you hit the, as soon as you hit the kitchen, yeah. the, basically what I've done here, so that you know, I've um, made some custard, or I've reheated some custard, you yeah. know? 
Okay. Woo. Okay. Woo. 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 When's and that's never uh, got a reaction like that. That's okay. okay. <laughs> then we've got this cream that they yeah. use. Uh, and then what we're going to do is cream here. We're going to squirt the cream while the chicken livers are still cooking. Okay. So this is a two dish. This is a two dish thing. This is, this is where Andrew went wrong. He tried to make it a one dish thing, and that yeah. was never going to work with, with you know cream and, and custard and, and what you chicken do, livers. Well, not really. Not if you put it all together. And what I mean, about what about Keely? Because Keely's gone into the house now. She's she's kind of you know she's been kicking off with pretty much everybody, and she's really upset Ify because she she started cleaning the kitchen. I mean, why is it that so many fights kind of, you know, base around the kitchen? Well, to be honest, the kitchen is everybody wants to be in charge. So yeah. it's like a domain, isn't it? It's like, you know, if I'm cooking, I'm, yeah. I don't quite, I don't really like anybody coming ne too near me, unless I'm cooking with you on television, of course. But if I'm cooking in the kitchen, uh, you know, me and my wife have the same problem. You know, I, she doesn't like what I do and I don't like what she does. So we, we you know, it, there's a bit of a... In the you know, kitchen. I'm, I'm not surprised and he doesn't like what you do if you're doing custard and cream and, uh, and well, dragon fruit pies in the kitchen. Tonight, no, she's, no, probably no. Wa she's probably watching this and she's saying, and oh, my God, he's gone downhill, that man. Aldo, <laughs> I'm, uh, uh, I'm thinking of having some Aussie mates over uh, and I wonder if you knew any recipes with uh, with crab eyes. Crab hey? eyes. Uh, hey? Come on. Always go really well with a plate of pasta. Yeah, really? No, you can't go wrong. Look at Doesn't that. that smell fantastic, now, guys? This is what he should have done. This is what he this should, is what have, he done, should everybody. have done, everybody. <laughs> Give him a big round of applause. Out of here, everybody. Uh, Out is going to remain here cooking with Rachel's ingredients there so we can have a big brother banquet at the end of our show. Right now, though, Zig and Zag are in the workshop talking stately homes and psycho crushes with Toff turn turntablist BB10's Freddie Fisher. Tally ho, boys. <laughs> Room and we are honoured. We've laid out the mm. red carpet, ladies and gentlemen, as he's come from Poshland, County Posh. County Posh. It's BB Tan's Lord Freddy Fisher. Right, first things first, the big question. Let's get it out of the way. It's a tad controversial. Oh, yes. yes, folks. Yes. It has what to be a... is your favourite fish, Freddy Fisher? Ah. <laughs> uh, my favourite fish yes. is smoked salmon. Smoked yeah. salmon. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. somebody write that down. <laughs> mine's at mine's fingers. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now, we all know that posh people have afternoon tea, play croquet, uh, and scold their butlers. <laughs> so how did a tough Freddie Fisher end up in the Big Brother house with a bunch of commoners? Uh, I don't know, I'm the only... How did you do it? Uh, I auditioned, I'm the only posh person they put in, I suppose. Ah, right. <laughs> OK, <laughs> simple as that. Right. Now, you're famous for having yeah. survived the most evictions in the history of Big Brother. Yes. Why do you think the great unwashed kept saving you? Um, I don't know. I think they liked me. They did yeah. like you. Quite a likeable fella. Yeah. Isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for a posh bloke, he is. <laughs> now, you had a bit of a thing for B. Mm -hmm. What's life without... Yes, yes. What's mm -hmm. life without B in it? Uh, more peaceful. Oh, <laughs> it would be. <laughs> no, but we get on well these days. Just to so. talk. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. I never want to live in close quarters with her ever again. But yeah. she's she's very entertaining. Very you know. She's now, what cool. does yeah. one do once one leaves the Big Brother house? Um, what have well, you been up to? One has been DJing. DJing. Yes. 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 Yeah. One DJ. Yeah. Tell us about your music making. Well, I've uh, produced a couple of dance tracks, cool. which are out now. Yeah. Uh, one of them's called Summertime. Oh, how does nice. that go? Summertime and the living is easy. Did you consider the name DJ Halfwit? I did briefly, it's yeah. It's got a good yeah. look to it, doesn't it? It sort of does. I thought it'd be a bit tacky, so I decided yeah. not to. But, Can uh, I do but, you yeah, like yeah. Um, posh DJing? Like uh, mashups of Chopin and Mozart? Yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting idea, actually. What? Did you offer any of the other housemates jobs on your parents' estate after Big Brother? Um, no. What? That's a curious idea, though. <laughs> no, like, like, mucking out the stables and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 maybe I could think of people do that, but no, no, I didn't. No. Do you think Ben is, like, stealing your toff crown? Um, <laughs> I, I thought he, we're quite different people in a lot of ways, I think. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah. he's also a good character, like yeah. him. Well, do you know what? He's been awfully, awfully nice to meet you. Sir Freddy of the Fisher, everyone. Everyone down. Everyone down. Let's bow down. Bow. Ma'am. Ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, your honour. Too long, people. Beans out. So, as you know, the Big Brother doors will close for the last time at the end of the summer. 
Channel 4 want you to decide which classic BB moment should feature on the Best of DVD. There's loads of great clips. Maybe you could choose from BB9 shocking task. We loved that one, didn't we, guys? Yes. Or Psychics Amanda. Yes. And for more information and your chance about, head over to the website. Coming up, body uh, language expert Julie James will be here to talk us through the family tree of power and the mysterious orgy of fear. See you in four. <laughs> Still to come, I'll be chatting to body language guru Julie James about the power skirmish between house daddy Steve and wannabe Baroness Keeley. But first, something Aldo Zilli is smelling nutty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the nuts. <laughs> um, I'm toasting the nuts. So this is part of uh, Rachel's meal, right? That's what you're cooking for us next. Yeah. Well, I mean, Rachel made a, uh, a bit of a mess, it, to be honest. Right, OK, so you are not going to make a mess of it. Well, because... hopefully not. Uh, the... This is what you can smell, they're up for cheese. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that, actually. So, so I might that. walk a bit away from you. Um, I'm, I am looking forward you, to it, though. Come, come back and taste. OK, uh, now, though, it's George with BBLB News. So, uh, 11.27 yesterday, Steve and Josie bared their claws and indulged in a light spot of Big Brother bitching about Keeley. I'm not being shown up by Wonder Woman today because Superwoman's here now, right? I'm going to clean that kitchen, you're going to think it's just been fitted. I'm going to rinse that bathroom, you're going to think that's just been fitted as well. You trust me, guys. I'm back on the face. Mm. She's showing all the girls in there right up. We look like <laughs> housewives. <laughs> Poison. What, has she been bossing you about? Mm, just don't want nothing to do with her. Is it the fact that she's so perfect? She ain't perfect. I think she is. She has an ulterior motive. Oh, so that's Wonder Woman and Supergirl in a heated, angry girl-on-girl -girl clash. Little Andrew must be rubbing his hands with glee. Speaking of which, at 8.15 last night, all of Andrew's birthdays came at once after Mario took it upon himself to set him a secret task. So Andrew's task yeah. for today, his task number one is you've got to go up to each girl individually, engage them in a conversation, and at the end of it, you've got to hug them and kiss them on either side of his... Oh, door. no, you're kidding. Yeah. Oh, and then we go in for... Oh, and another one on it. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. Well, I, I don't actually, I don't actually kiss, other. but I don't actually kiss the cheek. I probably, do, I literally just do like that. Yeah. Oh, the one on it. Oh, that is a secret task. I know it is. It is. It is. The last time Andrew was that successful with the ladies, it ended with his mum's credit card being maxed out and his broadband being cut off. Come on! Hey! <laughs> and at 1.19 today, the housemates were set this week's shopping task and found themselves at the mercy of master criminal, the Uber Cooper. <laughs> Greetings, housemates, you pathetic creatures. My name is the Uber Cooper, and I live, breathe, and devour housemates, male housemates. I have taken over the Big Brother house and overpowered Big Brother with my wily cougar powers. My first command was for him to lure the boys into my trap. They are now mine, all mine. And do you know what I'm going to do with your boys? I'm going to keep them locked up. I'm going to feed them up, build them up, and grease them down. <laughs> Now, the identity of the Uber Cougar is, as of yet, unknown. But just so you know, nobody's seen John McCrae since he was here on Sunday. Coincidence? We're on to you, McCrae. Uh, for all the latest happenings in the house, make sure you check out the website. But first, this week, Corin, Iffy and Mario face the public vote. Here are those all-important voting numbers. To evict Corin, call 09011 To evict Iffy, call 09011-323-006. To evict Mario, call 09011-323-009. Calls cost 50p from a BT landline, other networks may be higher and mobiles will cost considerably more. 15p from each call will be donated to charity. Details and terms at channel4.com forward slash big brother. Voting closes in Friday's show. 
now to welcome a very good friend of the show, psychologist Judy James. Yeah. What a different house we've got from a week ago. I mean, it's I just totally different. So how do you see the newcomers affecting the old school crew that we had in there originally? I mean, this really could not have come up a more spectacular time for what I call the old colony, because they were just going through a stage of evolutionary flux. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Glad I got that right. Um, you know, you've got Steve is patently house alpha, but he, yeah. he's been 30 days doing very little in the he's way of three just things. Yeah. Just watching these children and keeping an eye on them. He, he'd started to take them on a bit, though. He'd taken on Ben. He turned into a bit more of a critical parent, and so had Corin. So I think they were about to move into the role of house parent, and that's before this great, great big sort of demolition ball came flying in in the shape of Keeley. Yeah, exactly. Um, and Steve particularly has become a totally different person since the new housemates arrived. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's a real traditional silverback alpha. And as such, I think he was kind of sniffing the air a bit because he smelt danger before Checking they arrived. Checking out his competition. Yeah, because an alpha's job is to actually protect the existing colony and to protect their own role. So he's going to start rumbling into gear and he, that will be his job. And that was very much what he's taking. But he's also got, you know, Keely, who is another adult. So it's a bit like Christmas and Halloween both arrived yeah. at the same time for her. She's him. really been um, asserting her power since she walked into the house. Let's have a little, little look at her in action. I think we need to tidy up in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to, like, annoy people. You need to start your attitude out, you man. Ah! <laughs> what do you do? I'm a Christian minister. Can I just ask this? It might be really rude. How does that pay? The noises in here is really? unreal. Hello? It's like one of their wildlife programmes, you know? Like... <laughs> 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 I really like her, Judy. That's cos you're a bit of an alpha, you see. <laughs> Um, but she's rustling feathers, and that's what we want to see. She is the oyster that creates the pearl by irritation. I mean, she, she's attacking them in three ways. She hit the ground running. She went in number one. She used their space territory. Yeah. She did the washing up while they were asleep. Sprayed her scent. Absolutely, <laughs> and other things. Number two, she went and intimidated poor old Ben and Dave. I'm immediately with Dave, you know. And anybody that says I'm not being rude is about to be very rude. And yeah. she's asking about how much he earned and everything. And then she went straight for Steve. I mean, stood in the middle of them and attacked the snoring, which is we all know is, is very much Steve's territory. She wasn't scared, was she? She's oh, just kind of not remotely. come out there and She's say not it. as brave as she makes out, but she'll certainly go for it. And how do you power. see Steve responding to her? I mean, Steve is, is, is really quite hilarious because Steve is very much a spatial alpha. Right. And we've seen 30 days of Steve sitting around doing what's called pit bearing. So he does this spatial stuff, you know, very yeah. much... Yeah, it, it, it's very Showing much, his boss. Absolutely. Yeah. But then suddenly... Keely came in and, and mirrored him. So we actually got the two of them side by side on the sofa. She's pit bearing as well, and she's yeah. actually stopping him from putting his middle arm up. That's a real battle. That's almost right, like okay. two apes locked in murderous combat. Yeah. Do you not think he quite likes it, though? He likes, he's finally got somebody to challenge him in there. It gives him something to do. He's as pleased as punch, you can see by his facial expression. And um, then do we have one of... Um, Oh, we have the, lifting the, as well. The, I know the, this the, one. This was the last thing that she... This shows how smart she is because this... Uh, she actually got under his armpit and that's an act of submission. Right. She might get in under the radar if she, if she uses that kind of behaviour. OK, how do you think she's affecting the other members of the house? This was fascinating because the moment she arrived, it was like what I call an orgy of fear. Yeah. I mean, they all rushed off, didn't they, the boys? And they all started... All in the bedroom. All in the bedroom, hugging. They were like little apes sort of chattering and hugging and touching one another for reassurance. And all the people that had sort of fallen out started making up. I mean, it's Dave brilliant that a woman Kiba. can have that effect on a group of men. And, and a small woman so as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just gibbering with And it. the girls seem to want to be stepping up to the plate now, as we saw in the news. You know, Joe is like, she's put us to shame, you know, we really kind of need to raise our game. I think that's a good idea. You know, the girls haven't been asserting themselves. You've got guys that are all really uh, wimps in the, in the best psychological description of the term. So the women are very strong and I think they're beginning to see that they need to take that role again. So who do you think will win out of the Baron and the Baroness? I mean, the Baron should win, but the Baroness has got smart. Uh, she's, she's more strategic. Right. And I think the fact that he's a, a big guy that can kind of only really cut it when it comes to s displays of strength and power, okay. I think she can, again, just use a little bit of strategic thinking. She might just thinking. slide in there. Uh, right, well, high fly, fly Keeley, um, she's won every award in our industry, uh, but just how did she do it? Her friend and editor of a leading travel magazine thinks she has an idea. Let's take a look. People like her don't grow on trees. To be a successful travel agent, you need to be on top of every aspect of your game. 
I would say Keely is confident, she's determined, but she also has the ability to empathise with people at all levels within her company. Keely went up against some of the biggest names in the travel industry when she won her Agent Excellence Award. The award was given out at Travel Weekly's Northern Ball, which is the must-go-to travel industry event for the north of England. Oh, it's amazing, absolutely incredible. It means the world to me. I can see her putting the professional approach she took to her career into the Big Brother house too. Uh, she's determined to succeed, um, and I can imagine that she would go in with the aim to win. Uh, so, uh, we asked you guys earlier, will Keely overthrow the Baron? I can reveal that 80 of you percent think she won't overthrow the Whoa! Baron. Steve's oh! going to be the boss. Aldo is not going to come true. Talk us through what you've done here, mate. Okay, this is much nicer than, uh, than we've, Rachel's. We've got a couple of eggs there, which are uh, very basic fried eggs. We've got the tomatoes, which we cut inside. Uh -huh. We filled it with the baked beans. It's all about beans. the presentation. Oh. Filled it with the baked I'm beans. It, we got some uh, rock fall on top. We'll be lovely. You're going to be trying it in a minute, some, girl. Some toasted yeah. um, like nuts. The peas. peas, they're nuts. Though. Nice. Um, oh, cheese, cheese. Oh, the cheese. Isn't I thought you said peas. <laughs> it looks lovely. Give him a big round of applause. Yes. 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 Uh, that's what we've got time for, then, I'm afraid. Please join us tomorrow at 6 pm when we'll be joined by Coronation Street Sophie Webster, aka Brooke Vincent. Don't forget to catch the main show tonight on Channel 4 at 10 o'clock and check out the website channel4.com forward slash Big Brother for the latest news. We'll see you tomorrow.